Ain't no grave gonna hold my body down. How funny I used to look back in the 80s uh, with my whole uh, rat look. You know, we were rat. Yes. Oh man, I went to a few of those nasty rat concerts. I had the whole, I had Home the whole care. weird, uh, yeah, the mullet thingy. But uh, if I if I have any facial hair that comes out, it looks like armpits. <laughs> Armpit. I can't really do the whole man facial hair thing. For me, being a man, uh, I associated that with facial hair. My uh, seven-year-old son, he uh, he tried to shave the the other day, and uh, he cut himself because he shaved like this way, and but he didn't want to tell us, right? He yep. shaved on his own kind I've of been thing. There. Yeah. been there, I've been there, I've been there, I've done that. He shaved Screwed on his up, own. Screwed up, didn't want to tell then, anybody. And then he's like, they're like, so what's that on your face? He's like, what? You know, so don't worry, it'll come, it'll come. True story, I did not know how sharp a razor was and why it could actually right. cut hair off your face. Okay. So I was touching it with my fingers and nothing. Okay. So, how do I find out if it's sharp or not? I run it across my tongue. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I slice my tongue. In America, you know, a cowboy might be a, a real man, you know, in America. Well, uh, in, in Hong Kong, what's associated with, with manliness? I came here in the 70s, and yet a manly man was a man that smoked. A manly man was a Marlboro man. He's an American cowboy, strangely enough. Chairman Mao was also seen as a manly man because he, he's, he, he's suc successful. You know, we, we say that we need to be careful of the, the glory uh, and the gold. And the third G is girls. girls. Yep, that's right. So uh, that, that's kind of those three years. And I think uh, Mao was able to be, uh, in many people's eyes, very successful in those, those three areas. Well, you seem happy today. Well, why shouldn't I be? I have the two things that would make any man happy. A gorgeous wife, and I'm spoken a kid. Which do you like the best? Now, oh, there's a tough one. Now, tell me today, how many Marlboro Man figures do you actually see? I mean, if you go into a mall today, the men that you see, like on the posters, they're more effeminate. Uh, my daughter, she said, Daddy, can I go do karaoke? I'm like, what? First of all, you don't do karaoke. If you want to go, Daddy's going, or else you're not going. So she's like, okay, fine. For four and a half hours, they did karaoke, and it was mostly K-pop. I kid you not, Eugene, they looked like pretty Asian girls. Dude looks like a lady. Dude looks like a, you know, it was totally, that, that's kind of the way it is right now. Yeah. What does it mean to be a man in the Bible? What does it mean to be a man following after Christ? Studied botany and uh, principles of horticulture and classification of deciduous trees and all that. In doing so, I discovered exactly what you discovered, which is too much fertilizer. They have no need to really produce those flowers uh, because the flowers are supposed to attract bees and do things like that. And so, but there's no need to bud. There's no need to do certain things and produce, reproduce if you're already happy where, where you're at. And I think a lot of Christians are that way too. A lot of Christians, you know, we have too many Bibles. Um, now, now that we have our cell phones, we've got like all the Bibles online or whatever. You should be involved in church. You should be serving at church. You should be reading your Bible. You should be, you know, doing all these types of things. But I think that sometimes we as Christians, we don't go straight to the real source. You know, uh, we, we don't go straight to spending time alone with Jesus. And to me, I think a real man is a man that spends time face to face with his dad, with his heavenly father. And I, I think that it's interesting to me that so many pastors, so many missionaries, I've struggled as, as a person myself. Why, why do we avoid spending time with our father and our dad? Why is it so easy for us to spend time with our kids, with our wives, with our friends, with our bros, with business? Yet it's so difficult for us to spend that that, that most crucial time that Jesus did, he spent that one-on-one -on -one time alone with the Father. And, and I just think, man, that's, that's what we need to get back to that. <laughs>